So this is the first block of MPC6 and from first chapter you can do these parametric and non-parametric questions from these are really common and from December 2015 till uh, I think July or December 2017 questions have come from this chapter they always have question from this like sometimes they ask assumptions sometimes advantages or or difference there can be difference between these and this these two topics so make sure to read this chapter very nicely especially from 1.2 to 1.5 Then in the second one, you can read these topics, descriptive and uh, some, um, inferential statistics, a difference between these two can come. Then there are central, measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion hypothesis testing this can come for i think three marks mostly and you can read these types two types of errors also either you can read hypothesis from second chapter or if you want you can read about them in detail in third chapter because third chapter is all about types of errors there are two types of errors type 1 and type 2 uh, second chapter has just a summary uh, just a little bit written about them here you can either read from here or you can read in detail in this chapter third chapter <coughs> yeah. then in fourth I think only this you can read at least there's nothing else in this you can also read this topic standard error of a median and one tail or two tail test also if you want then I don't have the second block but from PDF, I have written some topics that you can read. So I don't know if you can see it, <clears throat> see them clearly. So I will mention them in description. Mostly these topics can come for three marks. These are just for theory. I have not written and except this one and Spearman's row. Mm, regression e equation can come for three marks, like a theoretical question, which also comes from, with a numerical also. So these are from second block, which I have misplaced. I don't know. Then from third block, <coughs> concept of normal curve, really important. Then you can read this, divergence in normality and these two, measuring skewness and kurtosis. Just read them once or twice nicely, try to understand what it means. So you can write to yourself in exam. From second chapter, you can read this. It's the level of significance of statistics.
சாவு சாப்பிட்டு மீனிங் ஆஃப் வேரியன்ஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் தென் இனோவா ப்ரொசீஜர் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் யூ கேன் ரீட் த ப்ரொசீஜர் பட் யூ கேன் ரீட் திஸ் மெரிட்ஸ் அண்ட் டிமெரிட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அனாலிசிஸ் ஆஃப் வேரியன்ஸ் ஆர் இனோவா then from the last chapter two way analysis of variance question numericals can also come from this and merits and demerits of two way anova and you can read interactional effect for once like if it may come for 3 marks so you can just read it <coughs> then fourth block in first chapter it's all about non parametric statistics so if you want to read about it from this book you can do that also and in the summary Mm, they have written very nicely these points characteristics conditions when it's appropriate to use non parametric and advantages and disadvantages okay then from second chapter you can read this for theory and from third analysis of variance and introduction to crucial values and over test you can read them and this one also comparison of anova and crucial values anova and from the last chapter you can read this for theory candles rank order correlation this can come for either 3 marks or as a numerical then <coughs> for numericals you can prepare these topics numericals uh, i think there can be either four or five numericals like mostly there are five either 3 for 10 marks or and 2 for 6 marks or 2 for 10 marks or and 3 for 6 marks so you can prepare these anova and two way anova also so i hope you get good marks in this all the rest for your exam